Mr. Bob Bloomer. Yes, hello. Yay. And he's got a new book, uh, oh, Glutton for Pleasure. I love the title. Oh, uh, thank you. Little twist on Glutton for Punishment. Yeah. This book is so heavy. It is pretty it's heavy. Three pounds. It's kind of like your life, though. It is. You know? It's kind of like I shook out every single idea I ever had from my brain and shook it into a book, and now my brain's empty, but the book weighs three, like my brain's three pounds lighter, but the book is pretty hefty. Yeah, no, it's it's a good book. There's so much in here, Bob. Like, how long did it take you to? What inspired you, I guess, to do it? Um, well, it's the recipes in the book are a collection of recipes from my five cookbooks, right. my 150 episodes of shows that I've done. Um, I cannot believe Some it. of the columns that I've written and, um, you know, just scattered recipes that I've done throughout time. So it's all my best recipes. So I started with those, but then a lot of them I retested because they were recipes I created like way back in the beginning when I was just learning how to cook. And you actually say that in the book, now that yeah. I actually know how to cook. <laughs> and, um, and then I wrote introductions to each of the recipes to sort of contextualize them in terms of where I cook them or experiences I had with them. Right. And then after I finished all that, then I thought, well, I've got all these recipes. I may as well, you know, I've had all these crazy experiences in my life. And so I um, included some of my epic adventures. Right. And Picking grapes in France. Oh my God, oh that my was so God. exciting. Almost lighting a guy on fire. Well, I did light a guy on fire inadvertently in Australia. Right, and you didn't um, want to talk TV. about that. Well, I was so embarrassed because they, they, I only found out after the fact that they, it was a stuntman and they tricked me. But so I looked like, I was, when they caught me on camera, after the guy was on fire, and I thought it was for real. I looked like a deer, and, you know, caught in the headlights. <laughs> I was so embarrassed, I didn't mention it for 10 years. And so when did you find out that it was like a big stunt? When I got back to my hotel room, and I was like lying on my bed sobbing, and the door, <laughs> not, someone knocked on the door, and it was a bellhop with a bottle of scotch and a note that said, thanks for being such a good sport. <laughs> I kind of, I unraveled the whole thing in my mind and figured out that I've been totally set up. Those Aussies. Those damn Aussies. I know, but you see, you can't hate them because I always think the Aussies have such a great sense of humor, and so I was just being a foil for their great sense of humor. So That's true. Um, and uh, and like, there's so much humor in this book, right? Like, there's it's so you, like from the colors to like a lot of the recipes are familiar, right? Like your big, the shrimp on the Barbie, those kind of things. Right. And yeah. So it's it's a it's so much fun. I I found. Oh uh, well, thank you. I'm so was it I'm fun honored. writing it? Yeah, it was, and it was. Um, it was fun to just think back at some of the crazy things that have happened to me. God, you've done so many. My it's God. Been pretty crazy. I mean, are you? I mean, are you gonna take it easy now? Like. No. You know, my you... version of taking it easy is going on a big cycling trip somewhere far away and cycling 100 kilometers up a big mountain. I read the story about you going scuba diving and almost dying, oh, and your yeah. friend, his eardrums rupturing, and just. But there's Bob, Glenn for punishment. It takes a special kind of person. Well, you know, I was just thinking about it today. The, you know the term adrenaline junkie that we sort of throw around? Yeah. If you break it down, it's adrenaline junkie. And junkies are always looking for their their next fix, right? Yeah. And so that's sort of, like, that's what really? happens. Really? You still, you don't, you, you don't, like, you, after all these episodes, you don't like, okay, I should take it easy. Mm, I, maybe I take it easy for a weekend and then and then all of a sudden it's like Monday morning, it's like, need more adrenaline. Thanks for good TV though.